Good morning dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today I'm gonna to lead you through a 10 minute morning flow. This is perfect to do first thing in the morning after sleeping, your body probably feels a little bit tight, a little bit sore, a little bit achy perhaps. So this is a great way just to re-energize your body for the day. This class will focus a little bit more on stretching and waking up the lower body. So if you have any sore hips, sore hamstrings, this is a great way to wake up for sure. So get yourself into a comfortable seated position and let's put your right leg in front. So your right leg is crossed in front here. And then you're just gonna take your right arm and we're just gonna take a nice easy port de bras up and over towards the side. So your elbow might come down to the floor, it might not. And remember, this is first thing in the morning, so be gentle to your body. We don't need to go to your absolute max here. Make sure when we do this though that your opposite hip bone isn't lifting up off the mat, but that you're keeping it firmly grounded towards the floor. And now to recover from this, we're actually gonna roll into the center, so allow your arm and your head to circle forwards, curve your spine, and then nice and slow roll up back into a seated position. And we'll do that same thing on the other side right away. So lifting your left arm up, breathing up and over. Again, don't worry if your elbow doesn't come down onto the mat. Just feel that lengthening through the side of your body. Breathing into it creates space. Keeping that opposite sit bone down into the floor. And again, we'll start to curve and rotate forward, rolling back up. We're gonna repeat that once more, both sides, just moving a little bit faster. Just a little bit, so find your stretch, hold there for a moment, then roll forward, rolling up through the spine. And then same thing, other side. Take it forward, rolling up through the spine. Awesome, now from here we're gonna inhale both arms all the way up. On the exhale, fold at the hips and take yourself forward as far as you can go. Again, this is first thing in the morning, be gentle, don't go to your max. Try to release your neck, relax your hips, don't grip through the hip flexors. And then from here, just walk your hands over towards the left side. So your upper body is sort of on an angle and you may feel a bit more of an intense stretch in through your glutes here on the right side. And from here, use your hands to walk yourself back up to that seated position. On an exhale, take your left hand to grab your right knee and you're gonna twist just to face the opposite corner, sitting up nice and tall twisting through the spine. And on your next exhale, unwind from the twist. Let's just take a moment to switch the leg. So your left leg now is going to be in front in your comfortable seated position. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, folding forward at the waist. Allow the weight of your head to pull you farther into the stretch. No need to really pull or force anything here. And now from here, walking your hands over towards the right side. You might feel the stretch intensify through your back a little bit. And breathe into wherever you feel it most, creating that space, that length. And we'll use the hands to walk yourself back up to a seated position. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, cross opposite arm over towards your left leg. And just twist towards the back corner. Nice and easy. Feel really tall. Opening up the spine, opening up the chest and the heart. And on your next exhale, we'll come back to center. Now, just coming into our yogi squat. So to transition, come onto your shins first. Then we're gonna tuck the toes to send the weight back. And then just open your feet up so they're a little bit wider than your hips. Your toes are gonna come in, heels out. So you're almost in like an open first position here, you could say. 
palms come together, elbows are going to push your knees open. So finding this really, really deep squat, try to relax through your hip flexors here. So we're not gripping anything. And let's try to find a little bit of core engagement. First thing in the morning, feel that belly button pulling in towards your spine. You may want to rock just ever so slightly side to side, just waking up those hips. Take one final inhale here, really lengthen through the spine. And on the exhale, you're gonna drop the hands, send your tailbone to the sky, head towards the floor as you rotate and flip into a forward fold. So your feet are now parallel to the short edges of your mat. They are wider than your hips. And you can keep the knees bent here. And let's just grab opposite elbows, taking a nice easy sway side to side. So your spine is really just dangling and hanging over those legs. And let's take this a step further by placing the hands down on the mat. And now take a nice deep plie on the right knee. And then coming back to center. Nice deep plie and bend through the left knee. And back to center. And bend. And stretch. Bend and stretch. Now you're gonna rotate your toes towards the top of your mat. So your feet are now parallel to the long edges of your mat. And you're just going to allow your body to hang over in this pyramid pose here. You can keep the front knee bent. Again, remember to be kind to yourself first thing in the morning. We're just waking up. And just like we did in our center folds, we're going to take four plies, but this time bending through both knees. So bending your back and your front knee, and then stretching up. Same thing, plie, and up. Again, bending, and straight. Last time, bend, and straight. And now you're gonna plant your left hand on the floor underneath you. Bring your right hand onto your hip. And on an exhale, just try to rotate your body up towards the ceiling, opening your heart towards the right side. And just breathing from a deep place in your belly button. Really feel that you're twisting through the spine. And on your next exhale, you're going to step your back leg out. So we're coming to a lunge, keep that palm where it is. And now just add the arm up overhead. So we just transition from a ball of triangle into our easy twist. So you should be able to find a bit of a deeper rotation through the spine here. Starting to wake up the legs in this very deep lunge. And from here, we'll float the right hand down and then very gently drop the back knee onto the mat. Make sure you have a 90 degree angle with your front leg before you lift your body up. Feel that belly button pulling into your spine and then you can rest your hands on top of your knee as we just sink lower into this low lunge here. Feel long through the front of your hip flexor. And on an exhale, we're gonna take the arm and just Reaching up and over. So this is opposite arm to front leg here. Just intensifying that stretch to the front of your hip. And we'll circle that arm down to place it back onto the mat to reach behind you. And just grabbing your foot, running a little quad stretch here. Again, it doesn't have to be anything huge, just a gentle stretch through your quad. And on an exhale, gently with resistance, place that foot back down. And we're going to lift up and just rotate yourself. So we're in an open side lunge here. And now, skandasana, you're just going to transition over towards the other side. And then back to where we first came from. And then again, over to the other side. Back to where we started. And one final time, take it over 
This time you're gonna rotate your hips so you're facing the back of the mat once again. And then step yourself up so that we're finding this pyramid pose. Keep both toes pointing towards the back of your mat now. Again, you can keep a nice bend in that front knee. It doesn't have to be straight. And we're gonna take four plies here, bending through both knees and stretch. And again, bend and stretch. Two more. Nice and slow, working out any of those kinks. Try to relax your neck as we do this. Last one, you're gonna keep your right palm planted, left hand to your hip, and take an exhale as we twist. Try to keep your hips nice and stable here. So the twist is really just coming from your navel and not from your hips. This might test your balance a little bit, but that's okay. If you wobble, just get back into it. And we'll bring the focus back down, bending through that front knee, stepping out into a deeper lunge, and then finding that twist once again, just adding the top arm now. So finding an easier twist here, so really open through the chest. And we'll softly float the left hand back down, dropping your back knee. Find 90 degrees with your front knee before pulling up. Feel that engagement in your lower abs here, belly button pulling in. Relax into the front of that hip. And then we'll go ahead and take that same side body stretch. So on an exhale, breathing up and over. Circle it all the way down to plant that right hand bending through the back knee. And again, just finding a very, very gentle quad stretch here. Nice and easy. And very gently release that leg back down onto the mat. Rotate yourself into a side lunge. And again, just like before, transitioning to the other side. And transitioning back to where we started. You can really use your hands here to help you. Remembering to take it nice and easy. Just waking up the body in a very gentle way. And take one more over. And now let's come to a nice wide second position. So our feet are turned out here. And let's just bring your hands to the tops of your knees. And we're just gonna transition onto your elbows and just open the right arm up, just finding a nice big stretch openness through the heart and bringing that back in. And then same thing with the left, opening up nice and wide. And take that back in, hands down, rotate your legs, come back to that wide-legged forward fold. And let's come back to that easy rag doll. So hanging onto opposite elbows. Keep a slight bend in the knees and just rock side to side. Nice and easy. And we'll place the hands back down onto the mat. Coming back to a seated position. So back to that same easy pose that we started with. And just feel your sit bones on the floor. Feel nice and tall through your spine. Let's bring the palms up, resting on top of your knees. And just gently close your eyes. So we're gonna use this meditation in place of Shavasana, so we don't run the risk of falling back to sleep. But while we're here, just take a moment to check in with yourself and notice how your body feels after that practice. I know it was a short flow, but even just 10 minutes of nice stretching in a gentle way, especially first thing in the morning, can really make a big difference on how your body feels, especially as dancers. 
So take a moment to notice and appreciate those changes in your body. And let's mentally try to cultivate a sense of openness towards the rest of your day. Feel that you're very open and ready for anything that comes your way today. You'll be ready to tackle any challenge. And with that feeling of openness and availability in mind, let's bring your palms together in front of your heart and bending forward, namaste. Thank you dancers for doing this 10 minute morning flow with me. I hope you feel very nice and stretched out and ready for that day ahead. So that's all and I hope to see you on the mat again very, very soon. Have a great day.